Jason and I um, are gonna go out on a date. We haven't technically done this. Errands during the day don't count. <laughs> so it, we missed our anniversary. It was on the days of our vacation that I had vertigo. And I just finished editing that whole video and explanation. We didn't get a chance to go out to eat. We were gonna go, maybe we'll at dinner. No, we should, we should tell them now where we were gonna go to dinner. Cause it was gonna be really, really cool. I was really looking well, forward to it. Exactly where. Yeah, when we were in California. I know, but we're gonna say the place. We're gonna say we're gonna go. It was basically the same restaurant we went to when we. Uh, well, that's why it proposed. So. When we, no, well, it didn't even propose. Okay, start over. Stop. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> He's telling the story wrong. It was actually going to be a really fun date night because yeah. where we were at in California, staying at his brother's house, there's a restaurant across the street. And it was an Italian so. restaurant. It wasn't the exact, obviously, location because it was in California versus Seattle. But when we were dating, strata. it was the same restaurant, different, stop with your, stop. You're being annoying right now and you're ruining the moment. Okay, for me well, to get tell to, you. get to the moment. So, when we were dating, seriously dating, we yeah, this is like yeah. four years into dating. You said that, go get. We went to, he took me to an Italian restaurant in Seattle. I flew into town, we went to this romantic restaurant. It was Italian, okay. And that's where he technically proposed to me. He doesn't want me to do all the details. That's how it is. If you don't want details. No, that's, you said all the details. You said more than nothing. Well, there's else. more than that, but. Do, that, but that's just where I said, I, you know, I see us getting married. I'm no, you did not. Sure. You did not. No, he just, he just ruined it. That is not what you said at all. I know, I'm giving the gist of it. That, but that's not I the didn't gist propose, of it. But I said, I see us getting married. No, you did not. Those words I did have no not doubt utter that your we're mouth. Gonna get married. That did not happen. <laughs> It's lucky that we're married 19 years. And if you would just let me tell the details, we would actually you, get it right. You just listed a crud load of details. Right, but you don't like me to give details, but the, the story is in the details. It's really lucky that we're married 19 years, you guys. <laughs> because this man drives me nuts. I had this whole way of wanting to tell you, and then he totally just botched it. I was anyway, to participate in it. Just let me know when I when, when my you're scene allowed is, to participate. When my scene is. Yeah. Hey, what? Are we out of Cut. Why is it got a funny timer? I don't know why it's what our disc it? ran out of space, uh, so we had to get a new an SD card. See, this little thing comes in handy. I have my extra battery and my discs and and a cute little pin. Maybe later I'll show you the maybe pin. Maybe the camera got tired of a squabble. I did. <laughs> so regardless, we had this fun night planned, and we could walk across the street. It was right. We didn't even have to get in the car to go to this cute little Italian restaurant and then I got sick. So suddenly today we were like, why don't we go to eat? And our cute little town, it's probably actually gonna end this week. But I bet it, this week. I bet cause summer's over. I bet they do it till the weather gets to where they can't do it. I think maybe they said till the end of September. I don't know. But our cute little town um, has blocked off, it's not Main Street, they call it Friend Street, but they've blocked it off so that all the restaurants on that street can have outdoor seating out clear out into the street and so they they can kind of recoup some of the money that they lost with all this COVID stuff and with rainy season coming up they've got to like kind of maximize that they just shut it all to traffic and you go try and find a park parking spot like on the external sides and I don't know where we're gonna eat I don't know what is gonna have room and time for us to go sit down at so we're just gonna kind of play it by ear and by ear. find where to go we like to be spontaneous. Oh yeah, spontaneous. Spo <laughs> that's not how you say it. I know, it's, that's from a Disney movie. One of the characters would be spontane spontaneous. Okay. <laughs> I forget which one. I, I don't either. If you remember what Disney movie that is, leave it below, but I know which one is this. Okay, I don't know. We'll be right back. I'll tell you where we find a place to eat. <laughs> Alright, so we 
over to the dollar store. <laughs> we can take these off. No one's around us. We can walk over to the dollar store. I have a few things that I want to get for the kids for school. <coughs> um, we'll show you later, different day. But we're kind of killing time. We walked up and down the street. That was kind of fun. And then uh, I want steak now. Like ever since I was like, oh, maybe we can actually get in because it's usually really hard to get into this restaurant. It's such a small hole in the wall restaurant, but the but steak not, there is like, it's known for, a steak it's known for their really. steak. So now I can't get that out of my head. Look, if I do that, you know what? I should get a fuzzy one, a fuzzy one. So then when I pull it down, it looks like I'm mean, Amish or something. I have a look like a, wouldn't that be cool? A fuzzy one like up like this, it looks like a big giant face mirror. <laughs> And then, and then you pull it down, and then it looks like you're a Mennonite or Amish or like old school Mormon. Oh my gosh! Stop. What? That's what. It, that's. What I, it know, look like. I know. I know. I know. I know. That look, and I could say I got like, you know, ten wives or something. Stop. You couldn't <laughs> even handle this one. No, I know. So we ended up getting a table inside. If you can hear me. So we started with uh, artichoke dip. Should be kind of good. Ashley, can you talk to me please? Hey Ashley, this is really not going to make a deal. She went to the bathroom. If you don't be quiet, no you listen to me right now. No I'm not saying, you don't tell me to. Hey Kaylee, give her the phone. Kaylee, leave the room. Oh no, you're going to listen to me. Do you understand me? Food without eating the vegetables. I have the sample. Eat your vegetables. Yeah, no, no. You're welcome. <laughs> well, I think that was a success, even yeah, though we had to. Fine. You can take your mask off. You I'm not going to. Around us, I get used to putting. I know. <laughs> you don't have to wear it when you're just around your wife. But I think it was a good night. We ended up having to eat inside. They closed the outside seating at what eight o'clock or something like that. Yeah. And so it was kind of a bummer, but. Ended up. It was nice because it's a little chilly out here. Yeah, so I think that worked out to our advantage. But as you saw me on the phone, we have, well, I think they're better now, but. Just little disgruntled kids at home. I don't know if your kids do this, but Ashley and Chelsea share a room. Well, the other two share a room too, but. They fight it with each other in the room, but if one of them leaves, then they argue why isn't the other one in there? Like, so if someone goes to the bathroom, she gets to be up longer than me. I'm like, she's going to the bathroom. But that means she gets to be up longer than me and I want her to be in bed. So do I get to leave the room or or not? Do you need to go to the bathroom? No. But can I come downstairs for five minutes? Because she got to leave the room for five minutes. And it's just like ridiculous. So I'm having this argument with her in the restaurant. <laughs> and all these millennial 20-something year olds. They were talking about Harry Potter in high school. <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny. The and we're yelling at our kids, who cares if she went to the bathroom? <laughs> Get in they bed. Hilarious. They're talking about, I don't know, like how much they drink and. I know. Back in high school, I was actually not even sober. I'm like, so hopefully our kids are calm because I'm not in the mood to deal with that tonight. But a very successful dinner and a night out. It actually worked out good to like get to walk around and. That was nice. Nice evening. Yeah, it was the a nice moon night. It is beautiful out there. It is a balmy, what temperature? Right now it's 83. Uh, I don't believe that. I don't know. It seems it seems chillier than that. It does seem chillier, but it also it's like the highest temperature. I think it's going to be lower. Uh, it it's was, dropping down. It was 70. That's what it was when we came out. Oh yeah. Anyway, we're going to close it out tonight here because you don't want to see mayhem if it's happening at home. But I wanted to say thank you to Jason for taking me out to dinner. Yeah, happy and anniversary. 19 years, we made it. Hopefully we can make it through 2020 so we can get to 20. Oh gosh, I, uh, I'm done with this year. I don't want, you know when they talk about that meteor coming, I'm like, yeah, that'd Just be sweet. Done. <laughs> Just, you know, call it good. You know, we move on to whatever's next. Um, quick like just story you know like everyone's like really like something else like meteor um my friend hang on let me put my seatbelt on so a friend of mine lives in louisiana and she actually owns our best bites and it's, she has a, a website and a blog and um cookbooks that they've come out with and whole like 
collection of things. You, should, you can check them out online, ourbestbites.com probably. She was put on Facebook today. She's a public figure, that's why I mentioned her name, but she is really funny and she lives in Louisiana and so they just got hit with the hurricanes and she's like, really? Like, 2020 just doesn't need to have any more things coming at them. Like, I'm done. And then, I'm not kidding you, like the hurricanes hit her house yesterday, or her area, and then she has no power, so no AC, and it's sweltering hot, and she's got kids home, and anyway, and then tonight, and she's like, oh look, a cat decided to have her babies tonight. And she's like, and it's not even mine, and it's in my house. So would anyone like any kitty cats? <laughs> she's like, cause this is 2020, and cats that aren't even yours decide to come in your home and deliver babies there <laughs> because they can't do it outside in a hurricane and that's like the epitome of what 2020 is and I'm over it and I'm actually glad we're that actually we're not celebrating a lot of people yes we are we're very blessed people. and all you people out there struggling man we feel for you yeah hang in there like, yeah I mean, I, we've been pretty lucky for everything from natural disasters to financial security and business and stuff yeah but I know lots of you guys are suffering or just plain worried because all potential coming layoffs so we, we feel for you yeah and also I'm glad in some like I don't know it's weird but like I'm glad we weren't celebrating our 20th anniversary this year because I, I want that to be to a, yeah I want to be able to like really celebrate that you know kind of milestone and only happens once and so I know 19 only happens once but it's like 19 it's like I don't know these, yeah, whatever, you know nice round numbers these decade numbers are nice to celebrate but and you have big hopes that it's gonna be something big well what did we do did we, what did we do for our 10 year anniversary I don't remember Ireland we went to Ireland yeah you too was that yeah, because it was right before we got pregnant with Chelsea. Remember, we wanted to get pregnant in Ireland because we have Irish heritage. So we wanted to have an Irish baby. And then I didn't get pregnant there. But then I got pregnant like two months later after we got back. So that was pretty epic to go to Ireland. It was cool. You don't know that cool. story. Maybe I'll leave our like get maybe to know us videos. Take, maybe we could take uh, all the photos and stuff and put it together into a video. I know, because we didn't do videos back then at all. No. We didn't even have, like, good that phones or anything. Well, that it was 2010? Well, it would have been 2009. 2009. Yeah. Anyway. We should have started YouTube then. I know. Can you imagine? Uh, like, we wouldn't wow. have been able to, like... We have some videos of that concert, but you can't, like... You can't play any of the music from the concert. Anyway. That's for another day. But thank you for joining us and going on our 19th anniversary date. It was kind of fun. Yeah. So take care and we'll see you next time.